You know, these are one of those movies that actually gets better as it goes along because at the beginning, first quarter, first um, act of this movie, I was like, I don't give a crap, but it got better. My name is Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. Guys, I want to thank you very much for tuning in to my opinion slash review for the mountain between us i do appreciate it but before i get into the review help me out go ahead and click that subscribe button click the bell as well so you'll be notified when i make uploads and also give me that thumbs up let's go ahead and see if we can get this video to 100 likes now this movie is being directed by hani adu Assad. i've never seen any of his other films before or any of his other work it stars idris elba and kate winslet the premise of this movie is they're on a plane, a small plane, they crash in the mountains and they are left for dead and they are just trying to survive. And guess what? You probably already know where this film is going and that is are they going to fall in love at the end of the movie? And you're just going to have to wait and see for yourself if it is a true level of romance. And, you know, really, I'm not a big fan of situations like that because I know that when, when you're in a situation like this, um, uh, you're desperate. You're trying to survive. You know what I'm saying? You're going to make decisions, you know, in the moment because you don't know how much time you have left. So it's really an attraction of the situation. And then if you try to make the relationship work after that, you know, you the passion has died down or whatever. You know, there's nothing that's keeping your heart racing. I'm not saying that it's impossible. I'm not saying that people have never been in life you know, stranding, death defying situations and they never live happy ever after. But just seeing this film, I just wasn't buying it. I just initially, you know, going in and towards the beginning of this film, I, to be honest with you, I thought it was absolutely horrible uh, at first. Like it was just too random. I'm just like, OK, you just pick random popular actor and actresses, kind of threw them in a situation. And it, I just it just wasn't flowing to me. Um, it was it was cold, of course. It was dry. It was monotone. It was boring. The transition between some of the scenes were just so abrupt. The way they would go from light to night. To, I mean, to light not, from daytime to nighttime, from daytime to light time. It just was not, you know, appealing to me. And I'm just like, oh, my goodness. Like, I just want this thing to be over. And I don't even think it's been 25 minutes or whatever. But as the characters are getting to know each other, you know, um, of course, they're kind of annoyed with each other first. They're using their brains as much as they can. And the dialogue between uh, Idris Elba's character and Kate Winslet, so whatever, it did feel real. I mean, they are in a really effed up situation. And fighting between each other is not going to help their situation at all. But at the same time, they do have. Uh, different ways that they feel that they can survive and you know the bickering in between you know the two of them uh, it did feel you know somewhat realistic um, you know but the film progresses on and they're moving from location to location and each location the film does get a little bit better you know more and more and more and you do get to kind of see and learn more about that backstory and you know that's kind of when these people kind of feel like humans other than just you know people that they threw in a role because like I said the beginning of this film um, was just horrible um the cast of this whole entire movie is extremely small because they're in a remote location and even as the film was getting good i'm like okay how is this movie gonna end i mean is this gonna be like a over love sappy happy ending and oh god i love you i can't live without you and you know is it gonna end abruptly but the aftermath of this film is the best part or whatever. I mean, there was some great parts in the beginning, but the aftermath of what happened, you know, is what I appreciated the most because they didn't just rush, you know, into an ending. They, it just didn't sum up, you know, with, you know, hey, we're just going to do this and that. And that's the end of the movie. No, I mean, the, each person tried to go and live their life, you know, afterwards and, you know, whether they did come together or not towards the end, you know, I bought it and it actually had the perfect ending to me and, you know, just was very believable. Um, if the if the whole film was as good as the midpoint and the end, you know, I would give this a high rating. But it wasn't the beginning of this. I was just like actually ready to go, uh, even when they kind of tried to throw a little action in there, you know, um, like the beginning of this movie just just seemed cheap as well. But, you know. 
you know, who knows? If I had to rate this movie out of a one out of ten, at first I was gonna give it an eight, like when I first watched the theater, because I was like, it ended well. Um, but I'm gonna have to bring that down to, um, oh, what I want to give this, what I want to give it. I like the movie. It was a good movie, but I'm gonna. If I had to rate a mountain between us, or is it is it the mountain between us? Not a mountain between us. The mountain between us. I'm gonna give this a six point five out of ten. Yes, a six point five out of ten. And guys, that is a positive rating, so don't freak out. But guys, always as well. This is just my opinion. What did you think about the movie, or have you seen it yet? Do you want to see it? Have I turned you on? Have I turned you off? Do you agree with me, or do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, that's fine. Just leave me a comment below why and still give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to one of my subscribe to my channel uh, so you can get all the content that I have to provide. Like I said before, go ahead and click the bell so you can be notified when I do make uploads. You can also check my website out, bookmark it. I do have written reviews there. And the guys also look me up on social media, uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All that good stuff is right there at the bottom of your screen. And I made it very easy for you guys by providing a link to all that good stuff down in the description box below. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in to my opinion slash review for The Mountain Between Us starring Kate Winslet and Idris Elba. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery. And that's just my opinion. Peace.